This is Sean Perry with VintageRock.com. We're here at NAM. We're actually on the third floor of the Marriott Hotel. I'm here with one of my best friends in the whole wide world, Mr. Lanny Cordola. How are you today, Lanny? I'm doing well, Mr. Sean Perry. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Well, Lanny um, is clearly one of the great guitar players of our era, of our time. And Lanny is going to be leaving our country here in a few days. He's going to go to Afghanistan. Lanny runs a charity called the Miraculous Love Kids. We did a concert back in November with Mr. Billy the Fist over here. You can put the camera on him. Billy, say hi to everybody. Billy, Billy Pinky the Fist. Yes, William Dagsher, <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> William Dagsher. They called me Pinky the Beard, and I punched him in the, uh, I punched him in the rib. In a love way. In, in a, but it hurt him a little bit. No, it's a love thing. <laughs> well, anyway, Billy and Lanny together, they put a record together called The Afghan Love Lullaby which everybody should check out on iTunes, right? That's right. And CD where, Baby. where else? CD Baby. CD Baby. Okay, but Lanny, in just a few days, you're going to be leaving the country. You're going to go to Afghanistan. Tell us about what you uh, got in store here. Well, our Miraculous Love Kid project has blossomed into a project called Girl with a Guitar. So we're going to bring guitars to uh, teach girls that live in these poverty-stricken areas and conflict zones. Uh, how to um, use the guitar as an instrument of peacemaking, self-determination, and uh, improving the conditions of their lives and therefore the conditions of our beautiful planet. Beautiful, beautiful. And of course, Lanny's kind of uprooting his life here in the United States to uh, follow this mission. And you, you plan on traveling around quite a bit around some of the other affected regions. Could you talk a little about that? Yeah, I'm going to go to Pakistan. I'm going to go to Israel, Palestine, and um, hopefully into in any of the areas where there are the people that have been affected by war from Syria and Iraq. Okay, and tell me a little about the record, Afghan Lullaby. Uh, Billy, tell me about your role on this record. Uh, An Afghan Lullaby? And, and, yeah, Lanny came to me with some songs, and we just started playing them at, at my house, and then I'd go to his house, and we'd play, and we'd play, and play, and... Yeah. Then I didn't hear anything for a while. Next thing I know, I'm getting tracks sent to me from a studio up in L.A. And um, and we're I'm laying with our, bass with down. With our partner Gary Griffin. Gary Griffin, yeah, uh, great guy. Starts sending me tracks, and Lanny's sending me notes. And next thing I know, I'm on the album. And we did the whole record, pretty much with me at my place, putting him into my DAW system, sending him up, getting notes, playing it again, and then uh, filtering it back into the record. If you hear it, it sounds like we're all there. I mean, I, again, people ask me about how it was to play on it, and it's all about the writing. I think with anything, with it, like even acting or whatever, you know, a great actor will tell you it wasn't his performance, it was the writing. The writing is what made him great. The writing on this album is incredible, and I played my heart out on it. Mm. Now, again, an Afghan and Afghan lullaby. Tell me about this, the theme behind this record. What, what's, what inspired you to make this record? Two sisters named Parwana and Korshid, who were killed in a suicide bombing September 8, 2012. And um, uh, it was a response, a, a, a positive response to a negative action. And I went to Afghanistan, met the family, asked what I could do, and they said, you can help us get out of here. So this is part of trying to help them have a better life because um, all the proceeds are going to the family of Parwana and Korshid. And, and they've inspired, I think, a whole movement about using music for a force of healing, peace, uh, goodwill, and um, uh, 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 a higher humanity. Okay, and of course, you're out here at NAM this weekend. You're talking to various vendors about sponsoring um, your, your efforts here. Can you talk a little about that? Can you at this point? I mean, tell me... What's, what, what do you got planned moving forward? Well, I hope every vendor here wants to give us thousands of guitars. But um, in the meantime, I am going to move out of where I live here in the States and take this to the next level because I believe in it that much. And I think that by being over there with uh, the kids, uh, showing how we can through all of our different creative efforts, music, the visuals, the, the writing, uh, and then taking it on the road here, that will affect uh, what's going on all over. I mean, there's a lot of poverty here in America. So um, 
It's about using music as a force for healing and transformation. Excellent. Excellent. I think I think what Lana and I talked about was by going over to Afghanistan and Afghan lullaby and writing songs and then teaching people, little kids, the, the next generation, and girls, because girls, they grow up to be mothers and they teach their children, man, you know, boy or girl, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if we can help them uh, not become maybe something that, uh, help me out on this one. I mean, it's just, I, I, I don't want to say radicalized or whatever. I mean, because that's like, sounds like the news. But I mean, if we can just do something to where we help little kids understand that there's another way to be, there's another thing to do, and it can be done with music. I think that's an awesome thing, man. Because I grew up, I grew up just, I grew up playing music. I didn't even know why I was playing music. I just grew up and played music. Yeah, it was like one of those things that I just was, kind of in my my jeans or something i just had to do it yeah well and, and it's a, it's a symbol uh, music and the guitar for imagination creativity uh, and hope when people when, when when kids have hope when people have hope all things are possible so um, that's what it's all about very well said now people want to pick up an afghan lullaby where would they go they can go to uh, CD Baby or uh, iTunes, and we also have our website, which is uh, themiraculouslovekids.org or .com, mm -hmm. and uh, we have a GoFundMe site as well uh, with uh, Miraculous Love Kids and Afghan Lullaby. So uh, all help is appreciated. It's uh, it's not any one person's um, thing. It is a communal thing because that's the only way that these big problems will be solved. It's not a, uh, a, a me thing, it's an us thing. It's not miraculous me, it's miraculous. It's not G's me, it's G's us. So, um, very well, very good, very good, very good. Okay, well, Lanny Cordola, Billy the Fist, miraculouslovekids.org, check it out. This is Sean Perry with VintageRock.com here at NAM. 2016 signing off. Thank, thank you. you, Tom. Thank yes, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Sean. Yes. Thank you, Sean. You got it, buddy. All right.